The Carolina Pro Football Report, presented by National Pal. Support National Pal at nationalpal.org. It certainly wasn't the outcome that the Carolina Panthers were hoping for. A 41-17 loss to the Buccaneers today. But it started off in the hole for the Carolina Panthers. Jeremy Chin early on in a boot during the pregame. They were out they were without him as well. But the bright spot was Sam Darnold for a second week in a row did show signs of being more concise and better decision making. He handled the offense well until things started to fall apart in the second half. Darnold was 29 for 42 for 219 yards with two touchdowns and one interception. Sam weighed in on his performance as well as his progress after the game. Yeah, I mean, you're always, as a quarterback, you're always trying to be decisive out there. Uh, you know, whether whether it's a one high, two high read, picking a side of the field, whether it's a pure progression, whether it's, um, you know, man zone, um, you know, there's a bunch of different reads. Um, and so, yeah, I, I just try to go out there and make the best decisions I can. And, um, you know, for the most part, I had a good rhythm going and then it just fell apart at the end. Yeah, I mean, you're always, as a quarterback, you're always trying to be decisive out there. Uh, you know, whether whether it's a one high, two high read, picking a side of the field, whether it's a pure progression, whether it's, um, you know, man zone, um, you know, there's a bunch of different reads. Um, and so, yeah, I, I just try to go out there and make the best decisions I can. And, um, you know, for the most part, I had a good rhythm going and then it just fell apart at the end. The other looming question, what now happens to Matt Rule after this string of losses and this 41-17 loss to the Buccaneers today? A lot are thinking that he may not be around for another season. But Matt addressed those concerns in his post-game press conference. I've answered that to, to you guys off the record and on the record. I've never, I've never, I'm never going to speak for Dave. I'm never going to speak for anyone else but myself. Every conversation I've had has been about the future um, and what's there. Whether I'm, you know, I'm gonna, I, what I told them was I'm going to coach until someone tells me I'm not the coach. And that's the minute I start making things about myself and not about the team, then then I'm not who I want to be. So um, today, this was about going out there and trying to make sure that Shaq Thompson and um, you know Justin Burris and Daquan Jones, and those guys had the best plan possible. T Taylor Moten, that they had a chance to win the game. I don't. I'm not paying attention to anything else. Um, so that that's my job. Um, like I, but like I said, I, I, I don't speak for anyone else. And every conversation I've had has been about simply about the future and the plan and, and where we are in the plan and, you know, what we need to do in free agency and the draft and all those kind of things, which I think are, you know, we're at a really important time right now for Carolina to get over the hump. I've answered that to, to you guys off the record and on the record. I, I've never, I've never, I'm never going to speak for Dave. I'm never going to speak for anyone else but myself. Every conversation I've had has been about the future um, and what's there, whether I'm, you know, I'm gonna, I, what I told them was I'm going to coach until someone tells me I'm not the coach. And that's the minute I start making things about myself and not about the team, then, then I'm not who I want to be. So um, today this was about going out there and trying to make sure that Shaq Thompson and, um, you know, Justin Burris and Daquan Jones, those guys had the best plan possible, T Taylor Moten, that they had a chance to win the game. I don't, I'm not paying attention to anything else. Um, so that that's my job. Um, like I, but like I said, I, I, I don't speak for anyone else. And every conversation I've had has been about simply about the future and the plan and, and where we are in the plan and, you know, what we need to do in free agency and the draft and all those kind of things, which I think are, you know, we're at a really important time right now for Carolina to get over the hump. Now, as the second half progressed, things just got way out of control for the Panthers. The Tom Brady show started, and it was all Tom Brady and the Buccaneers from there. Tom Brady set a record today as the oldest player in NFL history with 5,000-plus yards in a season. He also set a team record for passing yards in a season. Tom Brady was 29 of 37 for 326 yards today with three touchdowns and no interceptions. Bucks receiver Mike Evans, six receptions for 89 yards. But the biggest benefactor of Tom Brady today, Gronkowski. Seven receptions, 137 yards on the day. So what about the sentiments in the locker room? 
Well, Robbie Anderson and Brian Burns both weighed in after the game to talk about their disappointment for the season as well as what the future may bring. It's my sixth year I'm not going to the playoffs, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't play this game to go home and sit on my couch and watch other people win and hold up a Super Bowl trophy, you know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. if, if, if I didn't care, I wouldn't have worked hard all week to come playing, as some people would say, a meaningless game, you know what I'm saying? Like, I love football. Like, I, this is what I, I don't – it's not just about money with me, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it means everything and more to me and everything I try and do in life. I, I work hard to be great in every aspect from – football to how I treat my family, the clothes I put on, trying to be great in every category. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, I'm not first. I'm not going to play football again until September while I got to watch everybody else in the country play football still. You know what I'm saying? We don't play this game to lose. And we don't work to lose. We don't dream to lose. You know, just it's disappointing. It doesn't, you know, it's not what we what we're here to do. In all honesty, I just feel like it comes down to, like I said, the select plays, um, a selected amount of plays. And I feel like we are, we're mostly always in the game and we always have those one or two plays that, that can change the game, but we just not getting it done. You know what I mean? Or well, we're just not staying focused and, and doing our jobs, you know what I'm saying, for the duration of the game. So I feel like that's that's one of the main things is discipline and, and, and stamina, mental stamina. To, to continue to do your job at a high pace, I mean, at a high level, the whole game. I feel like that's one of the main things. And um, I think it's going to come with experience, maturity. Like, we still have a young team. Like, our team is extremely young. But I think it's going to come with maturity and experience. And, and you know what I'm saying? It's just like, just as, as time goes, it's going to be growth. Uh, just how I see it. So one other question that's probably on everyone's minds is, is the process working? We don't know. From the outside looking in, many people say, it's questionable from the inside many of the players still agree that the process is valid including Robbie Anderson however we'll see what happens when they get back to Charlotte only David only David Tepper can make those types of decisions to say who's going to be here who's not especially when it comes to Matt Rule but they will definitely be working on that in these coming weeks we look forward to seeing it and covering it and bringing all the news to you well After the 41-17 loss to the Bucs, that is the end of the Carolina Panthers' regular season and season for this year. Uh, So for everyone here at ADSN, I'm Kevin Tolbert. We'll see you next season. The National Police Athletic and Activities League help support the mission of kids, cops, and communities. NationalPal.org